How do earthquakes happen? Imagine the ground shaking, buildings swaying. Earthquakes. They strike without warning, unleashing immense power. But how do earthquakes happen? It is not chaos. It is Earth's way of releasing deep tension. Uncover the sudden secrets behind its tremors. Let's begin with Earth's fractured skin tectonic plates. Earth's outer shell, the crust, is broken into enormous sections. Tectonic plates, these plates constantly, slowly move across Earth's molten mantle. Think of them as colossal puzzle pieces, always shifting and grinding. When plates get stuck building tension, as tectonic plates move, they sometimes lock together. Immense forces keep pushing. This builds incredible stress and energy along fault lines, cracks where plates meet. Like bending a stick, tension builds. Here comes the break, the sudden slip. Tension builds for years. Eventually, stress becomes too great. The locked rocks suddenly break and slip. This rapid release of stored energy causes vibrations that ripple through Earth's crust. This slip along a fault is an earthquake. Time to feel the tremors, seismic waves. Energy from the sudden slip travels outwards as seismic waves. These waves spread from the earthquake's origin, the focus. When waves reach the surface, they cause shaking. Strength depends on energy released and distance from the center. What happens next? Aftershocks. After a major earthquake, smaller tremors called aftershocks often follow, caused by remaining stress adjusting along the fault. Usually weaker, they can still damage weakened structures. It is earth settling after abrupt movement. So, how do earthquakes happen? They are born from slow tectonic plate motion. When plates lock, tension builds. The rock breaks and slips, releasing immense energy as seismic waves, a powerful reminder of our dynamic planet.